congenital pseudoarthrosis of tibia is a rare disease and uh, whenever an examination is going on this these type of patients are definitely being kept for interaction with the students because it gives a lot of understanding of healing of bone as well as uh, the complications that can arise for functioning of the lower limb. So we have a patient who, who is about six years old and presented with difficulty in walking and the pa parents have noticed it uh, after about one year or so. Uh, and they said that, well, the child was born without any deformity. But uh, as he started wa walking, he developed an excessive bowing of the lower part of the leg. And uh, otherwise, the milestones, so far as his uh, other abilities were concerned, uh, they were normal. And there was no history of uh, any fever or uh, a prolonged fever or, uh, or any history of... Uh, of epilepsy or a stroke and uh, this uh, child is having a normal uh, bowel habits and a normal sleep pattern and uh, feeds himself very well and he's been immunized uh, uh, in a normal routine and uh, he has achieved rest of the milestone at the desired age while this examination systemic examination has shown uh, that nothing is significant is all been a otherwise a normal child but he's been limping and been showing a a deformity in the left leg so the examination has shown that uh, the left leg is uh, short and uh, bowed anterolaterally and uh, uh, the general examination has showed that he has definite uh, caffeola spots, multiple st spots right on the on the trunk. And uh, while palpating it uh, locally, there was no rise in temperature and uh, uh, there was hardly any tenderness. There was hardly any tenderness. And... Uh, uh, rest of the uh, inspection appeared to be normal and so far as the movements were concerned the there was no abnormal movement at the site of the bowing as such and uh, patient has presented with a mild equinus contracture and uh, other movements were normal though the plantar fraction was restricted and the knee and the hip appeared to be normal uh, and the uh, limb appeared to be two centimeters short and while true shortening also showed a two centimeter of shortening. So most probably the diagnosis has been the congenital pseudoarthrosis of tibia with neurofibromatosis.